Hey guys, it's Shayra here. I've heard that you guys might be looking for a new TSM4 sniper video. So this video will explain what sniper is, how it works, how to avoid common mistakes, and provide you with step-by-step -step instructions on how I think you should set up sniper. I will assume anyone watching this video is looking for some guidance on how to set up sniper. I will get you set up, not just quickly, but we will do it in a smart way so most of the items showing up on your sniper window are actually good deals, instead of all the trash you might be used to seeing. Okay, Sniper, what is it? It's a feature of TSM that allows you to grab other people's mistakes. So if you're not comfortable taking advantage of other people's mistakes, then Sniper is not for you, and you can go on and get out of here. There are actually two kinds of Sniper now with TSM4. There is a Bid Sniper and a Buyout Sniper. So Buyout Sniper is a lot more common to users. It scans the last page of the auction house where the most recently posted items are found. And if someone makes a mistake when they are posting something on the auction house, you will have an opportunity to buy that mistake as soon as it's made and resell that person's mistake to your benefit. Bid Sniper is the same, just on the opposite end of things. This sniper is new to TSM4, so make sure you check it out. This sniper looks at the first page of the auction house where the oldest auctions are, and it will give you an opportunity to toss in last minute bids on items with really low bids before they expire or fall off the auction house. So this all sounds great, but you have to set it up yourself and tell TSM what rules you want Sniper to use. This is called your Sniper String. Once you set up your Sniper String, whatever it may be, TSM will run your Sniper String against those items that are either on the last page or the first page of the auction house. And if your String matches those items, it will show up on your Sniper window for you to decide if you want to buy it or not. Before we get into that, I think it's important to cover some basics first. If you put a simple sniper string in there, like say 30% DB region market average, it would find tons of stuff on your sniper window, but a lot of it would be trash. This is exactly what you can expect your sniper window to look like if you use a terrible sniper string like 30% DB region market average. It'll be too much stuff to look through and you will quickly get overwhelmed and you will likely miss out on the few opportunities that are really good deals. That's way too many false positives and it will turn you off from Sniper very quickly. So we need to build a better string. What we are going to do is use the Billa string that we already know very well and I'm going to show you how to make it work in a way that you will love so you don't have very much if any trash showing up and nearly everything you see will be a very reasonable flipping opportunity. We will also incorporate some of the new logic functions of TSM4 with this new and improved sniper setup. Before we get to that part, we need to talk about something else first. If you are just using the default base group and you have no other groups built in TSM, just ignore this next brief part. But for any of you who have groups built in your TSM, you have to make sure you have a sniper operation applied to all of your groups if you expect those items to ever show up on your sniper window. If you have a ton of groups and perhaps a bunch of subgroups within those groups, it can get really tedious to go through and make sure everything has a sniper operation enabled, especially if you have a lot of groups that may be overriding the parent operation. So what I suggest everyone does is have a clean blank profile just for sniping. Not just for that reason, but for another reason coming up in a second. So for any of you beginners who just have the base group, you have nothing to do for this step. Any of you who have built your own groups, you should go and make a blank profile. Trust me, just do it. Don't worry about losing any of your settings. You can go back to your default profile anytime and you won't lose any of your stuff you have set up. And you can now toggle between both profiles in a single macro. Head to settings, enter a name for the new profile, call it sniper exactly as you see on the screen for a reason we will cover later, then hit create new profile. Now you have a fresh clean profile for sniping. Now everyone is at the same blank profile. Okay, now we are ready to start building this sniper machine. First, we are going to make the min price custom price. This sniper string just looks way too chaotic when we try to cram it all into one super long messy string. By doing it this way, anyone can adjust any of the percentages in the string and it's much easier to read and understand. If you already have min price from my previous video, you can obviously skip this step. 
So for the rest of you, click on settings, then click on custom price and hit the big bar that says create new custom price. Click here with your mouse and type in min price, all lowercase and make sure you spell it correctly. Hit enter, then click here and copy paste this string. Don't worry, it's in the description for you to copy paste. Now reload your UI to save that part. No skipping that step or you will have errors in the next step. So let's talk about what this min price string means. It's just one part of the sniper string. So what min price is doing is getting a number for all of those values and then using the lowest value of DB historical, DB region market average and DB region historical. If the item is super rare, it may not have any of those values. Then it will look at global values, which will always exist. There is also a feature there, vendor sell. The idea here is that any item is worth at least as much as what you can get by simply selling it to a vendor. Though this part rarely ever would apply. It's just there for good measure and it's also why you don't need to divide it by 0.95. So this min price string is more likely to undervalue an item than to overvalue it, which is generally what you want when sniping. It's better to undervalue an item and to miss out on some deals because of it than to overvalue an item and end up buying something that wasn't a good deal. So setting up TSM Sniper is always about finding a good balance between two extremes. The first extreme is being super picky and potentially undervaluing items. Doing this means you will find very few deals and actually miss out on a lot of good deals, but the few deals that do pop up will be safe to buy. And the other extreme is not being picky at all and potentially overvaluing items. Doing this means you won't miss any good deals at all but you will also find a ton of stuff that is not actually worth buying. Lots of people ask why DB market and DB min buyout are not in the min price string, but doing that you are moving your sniper closer to the first extreme, meaning you will be missing out on a lot of good deals, which you most likely don't want. You are welcome to add in DB market and or DB min buyout if you like, but understand that while you will be more likely to only see good deals on your sniper window, you will also be missing out on good deals to accomplish that. So you'll have less false positives, but you will miss many more opportunities. It's your call. This min price string we are using here is a really good balance between those extremes. So now it's time to build the sniper string. With TSM4, we have some new logic functions and value sources we will incorporate into our sniper string. So we can now completely exclude all poor quality items from showing up in your sniper string. Poor quality items being, of course, those gray items. This is how we write the string to do that. This just means if item quality is greater than or equal to one, then use the bill of sniper string. Now all we need to do is add in the bill of sniper string to that formula. So this is what the famous bill of synixia string looks like. Some of you are probably already familiar with this, but we will cover it anyway. So if an item's min price value is greater than 250,000 gold, it's going to use 80% of min price. If it's greater than 100,000 gold, it will use 70%. If it's greater than 50,000 gold, it will use 60%. If it's greater than 10,000 gold, it will use 50%. If it's greater than 5,000 gold, it will use 30%. If it is greater than 1,000 gold, it will use 10%. And if an item's min price value is equal to or less than 1,000 gold, it will ignore the item completely. So items less than a thousand gold min price will not be showing up on your sniper screen. This is a very smart staggered pricing approach that reduces the percentages you are willing to snipe items as the value of that item decreases. Cutting it off at a thousand gold helps keep that trash off your sniper window. So now let's incorporate the bill of string into the formula we already prepared to exclude all gray items. So we just replace the bill of string into the part that says sniper string. And this is what we get. Of course, I'll have this string available in the description for you to copy paste. Feel free to adjust any of those numbers or percentages if you want, since you know what all the parts are doing. But personally, I think those numbers are good as they are. But if you wanted to ignore everything under 2,500 gold instead of 1,000, you would just change the 1,000 gold to 2,500. 
You're really not going to find a better sniper string than that, but we are not done yet. Part of sniping is trying to avoid getting baited or tricked into buying something from sniper. Advanced goblins will try to do this to you. Generally speaking, you never want to buy anything from Sniper that is crafted from a profession or anything that can be bought from a vendor. But how can you tell in a split second if something is crafted from a profession or comes from a vendor? You won't have time to look it up on Wowhead or other similar sites. If it was a deal, it will be long gone from your Sniper window. Awesome deals don't usually last more than a few seconds. Of course, I've got this problem solved for you. This is the other reason why I suggested you make a blank profile for sniping. I have gone ahead and made a list of every item in the game that can be crafted from a profession and comes from a vendor. It's just item IDs, nothing granular, clean and simple, and it can all be done in one single import. I'll have a link to this import in the description of the video. It is otherwise hidden on Pastebin, so you can only access it from this link. The reason I have it hidden is I don't want someone accidentally importing that group into their main TSM profile and potentially ruining all of their groups they may have set up on their main profile. Because I encourage everyone to build a blank profile, this will be safe and will not ruin your main profile settings if you have spent time building your own groups. So all you have to do is go to the link in the description and copy the raw data in this paste with Control A to select all, Control C to copy, head back to the game, click on the Import Export tab, then click on Import and click in this box and paste that data with Control V. Click Import, then hit Confirm. I have Sniper disabled for all of the items that come from a vendor for you in that import, and I have a simple Sniper operation set to stuff that comes from Crafted Professions. The only time stuff from a Crafted Profession will show up on your Sniper window is when it is a real mistake and worth buying. So anything less than 50% crafting cost and over 2500 gold DB region market average, all the cheap stuff is disabled. If you can't craft anything from Professions on your account, you will not have a crafting cost to reference, so it will otherwise be ignored, which is the safest route. You cannot use stuff like 10% DB market or 10% DB region market average because that stuff could easily be someone trying to bait you. Now we need to make sure you have your tooltips turned on. Go to settings, click on tooltips, turn on min price here, then turn on DB historical here, and finally enable display auctioning values. So now anytime an item shows up on your sniper window, you can have more confidence that it is likely a good deal and not just some trash to waste your time and gold. Never assume everything that shows up on your sniper will be a good deal. You still have to quickly hover your mouse over the icon of the item on your sniper window to see the tooltip. Your tooltip will have lots of information to help you make that split second decision. Eventually, you will come to know the value of lots of items and you won't need to rely on the tooltips as much. You will want to look at DB Market and compare that to DB Historical. DB Market is the last 14 days on your server and DB Historical is the last 60 days on your server. Then compare those numbers to region values. Region values are very stable and you can trust them. DB Market and DB Historical are very easily manipulated. So the only way you can trust them is if they are somewhat similar to region values. DB Market and DB Historical will generally be somewhat lower than region for a lot of goblins, but they shouldn't be outrageously different. If DB Market is ever outrageously higher than region, it is a spoiled number and you can't trust it. Something that is new to TSM4 is that every time a new deal shows up on the sniper window, it will automatically go to the top of your sniper list. Another new feature is you can now click on the X on the left to remove an item from sniper if you don't want to see it. If you ever want to clear the whole list, just click on the restart button to refresh it. Another important thing new to TSM4 sniping is the percentages to the right of the items on your sniper window. In TSM3, those percentages were just based on your market value price source setting in the shopping option, which was often just DB market for most people. And it caused a lot of confusion because a deal could show up, yet it would show something like 115%. Now they've made it much more intuitive in TSM4. The percent column when you are sniping is based on your below custom price setting of your sniper operation. So if you use this sniper string and there is an item with a min price value of 
12,000 gold, then the below custom price will equate to 50% of 12,000 gold, which is 6,000 gold, because it is using this part of the sniper string. So that item shows up as long as it gets posted at or below 6,000 gold. So if it gets posted for 4,000 gold, the percent column will display 67%. So basically, the percentages you see on the sniper window are now more meaningful in TSM4. So in TSM4 Sniper, 100% means the item was listed at the highest price as which it would get picked up by Sniper. Any percents you see on the right hand side of your Sniper window that are blue should be where your eyes go to first. Those are generally your best deals. Then green is next best and yellow is next. Everything will be under 100%. This is the macro that will enable you to toggle between profiles with one simple macro. This is available in the description to copy paste. All you need to do is use the name of the two profiles you want to switch between and keybind it. The two profile names in this macro is default and sniper. Change the names if you need to. Sniper is not something you sit around and stare at and watch for hours on end. If you have two WoW accounts, run Sniper in the background on one while you play the other. Or if you are playing other games, watching TV shows, movies, whatever, just enable sounds in the background here in your system sounds and then enable a sound in your sniper settings. So whenever you hear a sound, just alt tab and check your sniper window. Or if you have multiple monitors, just check your sniper monitor. Sometimes lots of stuff shows up, other times hardly anything will show up. That is normal. You are just waiting for someone to make a mistake that you can capitalize on. Now the only other part you need to worry about is selling those items back on the auction house after you snipe them. Make sure you use a selling operation that ensures you never sell this stuff for less than your average buy price while taking into account the auction house cut. I'll be covering auctioning operations in more detail in my auctioning video coming soon. So for now, if you are new to TSM and need some help with getting started quickly, just click the cogwheel on the default auctioning operation here. Now, if you have the three custom prices already made from watching my previous videos, you can just type in Shay Min, Shay Norm, and Shay Max here like this. If you are new to TSM and just getting into this stuff, just copy paste these three strings directly into these three boxes so it looks like this. The three strings will be found in the description. Put them into your minimum, normal, and maximum prices for your auctioning operation to sell these items you bought from Sniper. These settings will ensure you never sell anything for less than your average buy price, while of course taking into account the 5% auction house, and otherwise will just use a very broad range to sell. The default selling operations that come with TSM are dangerous to use if you are flipping items. And since Sniper is flipping items, it is imperative that you change it. For any of you that have not yet made the mouse scroll wheel macro, you will want this for Sniper. Just go to settings, then click on macro and enable all those boxes that are yellow. Then set a modifier if you want, then create the macro by clicking on the bar that says create macro. Now you can roll your mouse scroll wheel on items that show up on your sniper window so you can buy it faster. Speed is really important here. So for any of you that have never used sniper, just head to the auction house and click on the sniper tab on the top right. Then decide if you want to use buyout sniper or bid sniper. Most people use the buyout sniper on the left. Then when a deal comes up, use the information provided in this video to decide if you want to buy the item by hovering your mouse over the item and rolling your mouse scroll wheel. If you are new to sniper, Perhaps limit the amount of gold you have in your bags until you get used to how quickly the scroll wheel can buy something, so you never get over anxious and accidentally buy something you didn't want. Thanks for watching. See you next time.